I V M. बीड़ी जलाई ले जिगर से पिया जिगर मा बड़ी आग है वॉट गॉड बिपाशा बसू लुक रियली गुड इन दैट सॉन्ग एंड नो आई हैव एन लॉस्ट माई माइंड नॉट येट सो वट्स ऑल दिस गॉट टू डू विद द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया येस इट्स अ रेगुलर मॉर्निंग एंड आई एम एज यूजल हेड ऑफ द कॉलेज जाकिर हुसैन डेली कॉलेज वेर आई डू टीच वेलकम टू द शो द लॉन्गेस्ट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड आई एम योर होस्ट प्रिया मिर्जा and this podcast is about how the constitution shapes our everyday lives and this season is on work and i am very happy to share that we can finally look at article 19 of the constitution of india yay but first in this episode we are looking at flowers and leaves and liquor and all the good things in life do in fact come from plants <laughs> it's true Okay but before we get to pool and patti let's get the bad news out of the way about article 19 and the bad news is that no we do not in fact have a right to work but we do have a right to livelihood yay and that's recognized by article 19 which is the fundamental right to expression and work as a way of us expressing ourselves our minds and our bodies is recognized by article 19 part 1 part g which is the right to practice any profession occupation trade or business p o t b o oh, so let's go it on to bd and daru the year is 1951 and behram khuresh pesi kaka goes for a drive after dinner in bombay but he is arrested so apart from knocking over a few people but primarily because a constable smells alcohol in his breath and pesi kaka is packed off to jail so bpa the bombay prohibition act made the consumption of alcohol without a license an offense and pesi kaka was packed up to jail for a year and was one of the hundreds and thousands of people convicted under the bpa so liquor is produced distributed and consumed so regulating liquor consumption is a private matter of course but what about the liquor trade in the usa europe and canada laws on prohibiting alcohol focused on production and distribution and by the way prohibition introduced in america in 1920 is the only amendment in america's history to be repealed matlab hata diya aur yahan ye jo desh hai mera prohibition was taken up with vigor which meant a prohibition on import export transport manufacture sale purchase possession the use of any intoxicant hemp oh that's bhang by the way which apart from affecting drinkers also affected the liquor manufacturing industry so that takes us back to article 19 under which trade is in fact shaped by the state on grounds of public morality public interest so if the trade has a harmful and dangerous character it can be regulated and in the previous episode we looked at egg sellers and as to how in a city the vegetarian atmosphere was more important than the livelihood and trade of egg sellers or restaurant owners so the second story today is about beedi so beedis are made from kendu ke patte kendu leaves and historically wait hold on rather than colonial india Nashe ke padarth have been regulated. So a little history. In 1892, the British banned the collection and sale of mauva flowers in the state of Bombay, and that was used to produce local liquor, toddy, which affected the lives of hundreds of tribals in Thane and Kolaba. But just a second, hold on. I was supposed to tell you about beeries and the Indian independence state. So in Orissa a man named Ekadasi Padhan collected and sold kendu ke patte but in 1961 the state passed an act Orissa Kendu Leaves Control of Trade Act 
which prohibited the collection of kendu ka patta by anyone but the state basically producing a monopoly why does that sound familiar but padhan said it violated article 19 and that this law was ultra virus so intoxicating substances why is the state so interested in regulating them morality or money so by the way the british following the mawa act of 1892 clocked a revenue of and hear this out rupees 9 lakh 82966 rupees in 1903 from the licensing of the toddy liquor made from mawa flowers anyway what happened to pesi kaka pesi kaka said that the alcohol on his breath was not from liquor but a tonic by the name of bg force a health tonic with a content of 17% alcohol anyway a little bit about prohibition so as a matter of fact the draft of our constitution was coming along quite well till someone remembered are ye to humne dala hi nahi so kazi said karimuddin a muslim member of the constituent assembly said given gandhi's lifelong campaign for prohibition how can there be no mention of this in the constitution and as a consequence in our constitution with an overwhelming majority article 47 was introduced committing the state to raising the level of nutrition and standard of living and improve public health and in particular endeavor to bring about prohibition of the consumption except for medicinal purposes of intoxicating drinks and of drugs that are injurious to health and with that prohibition became constitutional and moving on in our third story today in a universe far far away a woman returned to work the year is 2002 and reena mukherji a bengali journalist began working for the newspaper the statesman and was doing her job but her boss ishan joshi brushes into her accidentally while she is walking down a corridor in her office accidentally and invites her to a party and molests her deliberately but reena refuses his overtures and in the same year she was hired reena was fired now we remember the vishakha guidelines issued by the supreme court in 1997 don't we and these were just guidelines not a law so prohibiting alcohol states have time for but a law which will protect women from sexual harassment yawn not for that time from 1997 to 2013 it took 16 years 16 years to pass a law posh prevention of sexual harassment at the workplace 2013 and with that we go back to the beery in ekadashi pradhan was the state of orissa 1962 the supreme court upheld the law of the orissa government which created a monopoly for the collection and sale of kendu leaves and said that that did not in fact violate the petitioners freedom to trade hmm. but this also raises the question of those leaves themselves to whom do these natural resources belong trees bushes flowers from the forest and we will look at the forest dwellers act 2006 later and what happened to reena mukherjee reena struggled for years filed a case at the industrial tribunal and between raising a child looking for jobs carried on a decade long battle In 2012 the court ruled her reinstatement and her full back wages from the time she was terminated. Yay! But she hasn't seen much of that money. And Ishan Joshi, Ishan Joshi, deputy editor at the Statesman, was then promoted to editor in chief at the Herald in Goa. Does it matter? It sure does. and we will look at laws on sexual harassment and impunity in the coming up episodes and pesi ka 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 kya hua following a writ of mandamus against the state of bombay by a man named 
Fram Nasser Vanji Balsara, the Bombay High Court noted that prohibition could only be extended to alcoholic liquors and not all intoxicating ones, and limited the extent of the Bombay Prohibition Act. In 1963, though, the Chief Minister of Bombay, Vasant Rao Nayak, liberalized the regime and permitted the free sale of beer and toddy to all people, amongst other things. Meanwhile, while you stock up on your drinks for the weekend, check if your company has an ICC, an Internal Complaints Committee, which is mandatory following the Posh Act. Did you like the show? Share it with your friends. Listen to it over a cup of coffee or beer. Whatever works for you, unless you are in the state of Bihar, Gujarat, Nagaland, or Mizoram. Meanwhile, you can follow me on Twitter, where I tweet at fundamentally p, and on Instagram, the longest constitution. Until next time, this is me, Priya Mirza, signing out. Hey, everybody! It's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. Our advertising is dead. Varun talks to Pallavi Uthagi of Super Bottoms and Mamta Roy of Odette Style. They reveal how they built their respective businesses completely online. On postcards from nowhere, Utsav tells us the story of nutmeg and how it became the world's most violent spice. On Big Talk about tiny humans, Devi Shobha and Meghna share strategies on how one can balance screen time and family time. On Hans Vani, hear the story Koi Parichit. It reflects India's belief in humanity and the unanimity it showed in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic. On Tere Mere Raste, Kesho takes us to Jaisalmer, a city where sand, sandstone, and water come together to weave a magical story of valor and view. Do follow us on social media. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows, for that matter, please do tell a friend. And don't forget to rate us on any of the platforms you're listening to us on. Also, remember, we're on YouTube. You can check us out on ivmpodcast.com/slash/youtube and get a list of all the YouTube channels we have active at this point. I'd also like to make a quick note that we're doing a small listener survey, and it would really help us if you could fill that out. You can go to ivmpodcast.com/survey. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors this week: SBI Life Insurance and India Water Portal. Thank you so much for making this possible. Love fighting? We've got you covered. Check out our show, The Fighting Goat, where we, the voices of the internet, Arjun Chipalkati and Somesh Kamra, bring to you crazy weekly action on your favorite combat show, The Fighting Goat. Be it commentary, breakdown, predictions, analysis of styles and techniques, and of course your round of favorite fighters. <laughs> you can listen to us every Thursday on the IBM Podcast app, website, and all major podcast streaming platforms.